Hello friends, welcome to my channel. As you know, uh, I'm doing this uh, Venami Shrimp Culture in this uh, summer. This is the, my summer experiment going on. And today is the 54 days of my Venami Shrimp Culture in the open bioflux uh, system. It's a fresh water culture. And in this video, I'm going to share uh, many information about my culture. And along with that, uh, I'm going to share the uh, water parameters of my culture pond. So don't skip this video, watch it till the end. And if you have any queries or any questions, you can uh, post it on the comment section. Uh, I'll answer your queries as earliest as possible. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing it so that in future, whatever video I'm going to publish on my channel, it will be easy for you to access them. Friends, recently I have cre also created a new account in the Instagram. If you want to uh, follow me on the Instagram, the uh, information are given on the screen as well as on the description. Okay. So let's uh, go to my uh, farm, uh, my open bioflow pond and where I will going to share the detailed information about my uh, 54 days of culture. Friends, uh, perhaps you must be knowing that uh, I am also growing the organic vegetables and these are the today's harvest. You can see here the banana, here the so many other types of vegetables are there. Okay, so let's... Uh, go to my pond so this is my open bioflock pond this is a 10 lakh liter open bioflock pond i am doing the venami stream culture in this open bioflock pond it's a basically a fresh water venami stream uh, culture and uh, overall ppt in the salinity of the this uh, pond is uh, around 1.5 to 2 ppt so all the information i'm going to share it uh, now okay so let's do it one by one so here we are taking uh, water sample from my pond and I will show you the details, the basic water parameters, okay. So this is the digital salinity meter, okay. So it displays basically the water salinity along with that it also displays the temperature of the water. So you can see it here clearly the salinity of my culture water is showing 2.16 ppt and the temperature of water is 35.8 so almost uh, 36 degree so daytime the overall environment temperature is around uh, more than uh, 36 degree so close to 40 degrees now it's a hot summer and you can see the water temperature is around 36 degree and the salinity of my culture pond is 2.15 ppd okay so every day some water is evaporating so that's why the salinity is increasing day by day initially it was 1.7 now it reached to 2.15 so we are preparing the fresh water so we will be adding that okay so next i am going to show you the pH so this is a digital pH meter so you can see the pH of my culture water is showing 8.5 so normally it varies from 7.8 to 8.5 sometimes it goes 8.7 also okay so this pH normally varies because of so many reasons okay so it uh, mostly it remains in between 8 to 8.5 all the time okay so this was the ph information next let me show you the diometer so this is the uh, diometer i am using the digital diometer here the company is lutron company so this is the one of my uh, one of the best product okay so let's turn on the diometer and the the other end you can see the other end is already there in the water and uh, now i'll show you the do of my culture water so normally it takes this meter it takes normally one to two minutes time to show you the exact do of the culture pond okay so let's wait for uh, uh, one to two minutes time let's see at what uh, level it basically remain constant okay so let's do it so 
so mostly then the day time the do uh, is getting maintained around uh, 10 to 12 within that range and uh, night time it uh, remains constant around uh, 8 8.5 so now it's showing 10.8 so on an average the do at the daytime is uh, maintained on an average 10 to 11 and that range actually okay so here it is almost constant at uh, this 10.6 10.5 range okay so you can see uh, in my pond there is no aeration uh, is uh, going on so so daytime we we don't run any aeration system still uh, the do is getting maintained at this range so very rarely we turn on the aeration system mostly the do is getting maintained almost 8.5 to 10 range within that range and you can see these are my uh, root blowers yeah i have got four number of root blowers here so they are not running at all okay so now it's uh, these are the feeds we are going to feed them now so two days before the molting happened and because of that in the molting time during the molting time normally the streams they undergo hibernate state they are very inactive normally they don't uh, like to come up okay so this is one of the my check tray and you can see with the let me zoom in a bit so you can see the shrimps are healthy and there and this, so far we have not uh, encountered any sort of issues so far so everything is uh, good now okay so this is one one i have got two check trays so it is very difficult to take this check tray out okay so i have got another check tray on the other side i'll show you that as well so guys, uh, uh, it has been uh, 54 days so far, we have not uh, come across any sort of major issues here. So another uh, for around 40-46 uh, days to go to complete this culture. And we are expecting around the biomass minimum of 1 ton to 1.5 ton. Okay, so let's see how it goes. So because the shrimp culture is very critical if you do some sort of mistake during the culture okay so the you may face lots of problem okay so so lots of micromanagement required for the shrimp culture and uh, a very uh, no you need to have good information about the culture so then only you will be successful and here is another check tray let me zoom in a bit okay so let me take out take it out this check tray okay okay so okay so so on an average this uh, on the shrimp growth is uh, around 10 to 12 gram now so sorry for that i could not catch it properly so on an average we already uh, measure the weights is on an average uh, 10 to 12 gram now so and there are just uh, two days before they undergo the molting okay and uh, we are expecting in another 10 to 15 days it will be a range of more than 15 to 20 gram range all right so friends so uh, this was the update about my 54 days of uh, the venami shrimp culture in the open bioflog pond and if you have any queries or anything uh, i left so just uh, uh, let me know uh, so you can put it on the comment section and i'll try to respond to your queries as early as possible and guys don't forget uh, if you wish to follow me on the instagram so links i have given in the description and uh, also in the screen okay so follow me so that uh, because every time it takes lots of effort to create a youtube video so but instagram is a very short video you can uh, 
you can create and there is no fancy no preparation is required so raw video can be posted so i feel that this is very easy and i can easily publish small small information over there so if you like to follow me on the instagram so the everything all the details are given the uh, description and the uh, on the screen itself okay and uh, if you have any queries or any uh, questions uh, put it on the comment section i'll try to respond to your queries as early as, as possible and guys don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are new to uh, my channel and uh, this is the feeding going on it's uh, now it's around five o'clock so this is the way we are feeding our animals feed the pen so this is the field okay so we every day around uh, we are following around four schedules four times a day we are feeding them okay so friends this was all about my 54 days culture and uh, soon i'll uh, come with some new information new update about my culture till then bye bye take care and have a good day thank you so much